there are a few standard ways for us to apply CSS styles in our React component. Generally speaking, there are three ways. First is to use inline style. Second is to use third party libraries that will do something what we call CSS and JS. And thirdly, which in my opinion, the best option out of these three is to use something called CSS module. And just for demonstration, we'll try to style our navbar in our app. First of all, let's look at how we can use inline style to style our component. As we mentioned before, we simply need to pass in the style attribute to the HTML element. I'll set the background color to red. And now let's go to our browser and we see a red navbar now. Great! Inline style is nice and simple, however, it has its own shortcoming. We couldn't write media queries for inline styles. Well, to resolve this issue, you could argue that we can just simply write the media queries in a CSS file and import it inside this component. Right? Well, the answer is no. You see, when we write React Component, the concept of isolation is super important. That means we should think of every component as an individual and independent unit in our app. And the CSS that we attach to a component should only be available to the component itself without interfering with other components in our app. When we import a CSS file just like what we did here, the style sheets defined inside this CSS file will not be scoped to this component. In fact, the moment when we import a CSS file, everything will become available to our whole app. In other words, whatever I have defined inside the navbar.css file will become available to my heading component and also my app component. This is super dangerous because there's a high chance that we might reuse our class names across multiple components. And due to the cascading nature of CSS, the CSS classes will end up merging together and our app will end up having a lot of unexpected surprises, which is very hard to debug and maintain. And that leads us to the next question. How do we make sure that our CSS classes are scoped to a component rather than globally available? And the answer of this question is to use something called the CSS module. Now what we need to do is to rename our CSS file into a file name ending with the word .module.css. And we'll go ahead and create a new class here called nav and we'll set the background color to red. And now back inside the nav file component, what we need to do now is to import the CSS file into a variable. Once we do that, all the classes that are listed inside the CSS file will become an object. I'll show you what I mean. If I console log out the CSS import, Let's take a look at our browser console. We can see that our component is printing out an object with a key called nav, which was exactly the class name that we have defined in our CSS file. And the value of it is some sort of unique string. And this is the way on how React can help us to scope our CSS classes to a certain component. When we import a CSS module file, it will automatically assign a unique name to all the classes defined in that module file. And just a side note, it's a standard practice to always put the module CSS file in the same folder as our component file. Let's go ahead and assign our nav class to our nav component. Now I haven't mentioned about this before, but in React, if you want to give an element a class, you have to use the class name attribute rather than the typical class attribute. This is an API design choice made by the React developer team, so we just have to get used to it. Anyway, for the value of the class name, we simply need to put class.nav. And again, I'm using a curly braces here because we're passing in a JavaScript code inside the HTML. And now the red background color is back in business. And if we inspect it inside Chrome's developer tool, we can clearly see that the class applied to the nav element is the unique class name that we get inside our console log. And that is CSS module in a nutshell. We can go ahead and write more styles inside our navbar module CSS file and feel free to put in any media query that you see fit. It will work exactly like a normal CSS file. CSS module is great out of the box since it provides us scope CSS and we don't need to install any third party library plus it is fairly simple to use. However, there are third-party solutions that help us to load CSS into our component. Those techniques are something what we call CSS and JS. If we go to Google and type in CSS and JS libraries, and you'll find a lot of resources and different kind of NPN libraries for you to install in your project. 
Essentially, CSS and JS library allow us to write CSS style sheet within JavaScript code. One of the most popular libraries is something called Stout Component, and this is actually something I would recommend you if you decided to install a third party library. So, if we look at this sample snippet here, we can see that in order to apply CSS style, we'll first import the library and create a component by specifying the tag name followed by a backticks. And within the backticks, we can put in any sort of CSS properties. And the library will create a React component out from this syntax. And we can go ahead and use this style component inside the DOM. Now, the other popular library is called JSS, where the concept is quite similar to CSS module. But in my opinion, it is a bit more complicated and less intuitive than CSS module. So here's the syntax. We first need to create a JavaScript object that contains all the classes that we want to correct. Within each classes, then we'll attach the corresponding CSS properties. Once we have defined the styles object, then we'll pass it into the create stylesheet function, where the library will create the scoped classes for us. And we can go ahead and pass all the classes into our DOM. This might be helpful in vanilla web projects, but not so much in React, because I think CSS module is superior in every way. Anyway, just before we end the lesson, let's go ahead and style our navbar. I'll turn on my speed hack so I can code faster here. Alright, looking good, and that is about everything that you need to know on how to style your React component. Key takeaways for this lesson, if we import a CSS file directly inside a React component, it will make every style inside a CSS file globally available to other components, which is a big no-no. To create scope styles, we have a few options. One is to apply inline styles to HTML elements, two is to use CSS module and lastly, we can use CSS and JS libraries. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for your support.